All right, what's up, family? Hope everyone is good. Strat here from Strategic Audio, back again with a new video. Please excuse my voice. I'm recovering from a bit of a cold, so I don't sound quite the same, but I'm going to push through because I wanted to do this video for you. Now, about this video, today I'm going to be making a composition sample from scratch. The style or genre that is going to be in is that philadelphia soul sound but just a few things before we dive right into that the composition that i make here you'll be able to get it for free as usual down in the description secondly my latest loop kits free loop kits that is will be linked and available down in the description thirdly if you're so inclined please click like on the video and consider subscribing it really does help the channel so the philly soul sound originated obviously in Philadelphia in the late 1960s. Production style is characterized by lush orchestration, often sophisticated arrangements and intricate instrumentation. Vocals are usually very smooth with lots of polished harmonies and overall the vocal texturing and layering tends to be very well blended. The feel of the Philly soul sound is very relaxed and smooth and laid back, drawing lots of influence from R&B, gospel and jazz. In terms of instrumentation, you'll find all the traditional favorites, piano, electric piano, bass, guitar, etc. In addition, there's a clear leaning towards the use of string sections and orchestral arrangements. Probably some of the best known artists of this subgenre would be the Stylistics, the OJs, Teddy Pendergrass and Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes. All right, let's cook. I'm going to start with a Rhodes electric piano in the key of C minor. This nice little A bar progression is actually quite simple. It goes from C minor to G minor, to C minor seven, to G minor, to F minor seven, to G minor seven, F minor seven, and G minor seven. There are some subtle passing notes and melodic flares that I played in just to move from one chord to the next. Now I have an idea for a bass line, so I'm gonna record that. Now again, this is pretty simple, especially for those first four bars and it grooves in the pocket. Note the melodic shift for the second four bars. I just wanted to do something different that I felt matched the energy of those chords. Those chords felt as though they were building and building to come back around to the start again. And I think that the way the bass melody moves complements that. Okay, now I think we shall lay down a nice lush string section. Again, nothing too complex, just following the main chord structure and giving the composition a nice solid backbone. Notice for these last two chords I added in the seventh note because that gives it a build up feeling as we come back around to the beginning to the first chord again. Alright, now I think I'm going to add a really simple guitar strum idea using a contact instrument. By the way, I just realized I hadn't mentioned it before. The Rhodes piano sound 
is of course Piano Tech A. The bass is Moto Bass 2. And those strings I just played, good old Omnisphere. I'm just gonna go ahead and click these notes in because this is really basic. Based on what I was going for, I really enjoyed the sound of this free contact instrument called Shreddish 3 Stratish by Impact Soundworks. Um, it really has a nice guitar tone and it's free. Well, perhaps I should say this is the free version. There is also a paid version. I, I love the way it sounds in this particular style and it to me it adds almost like a percussive element to it. All right, so I'm going to move on now to another string section. This one is going to be... Um, kind of uh, an accompaniment or maybe an, uh, kind of a compliment to the basic string section that we put before. Um, this one could also be seen as kind of a counter melody, but it's really just um, making the strings a little more intricate and it'll probably be a little tame in the mix. And for this, we're going to use the BBC Symphony Orchestra plugin, the free one from Spitfire Audio. Yeah, so like I said, those strings, I think they're nice and they add a nice accompaniment to the basic layer of strings we already had. Now for one of the most, I think, iconic instruments that you will find in the Philly Soul sound. I really want to add this in. That is the electric sitar. I know you've heard it in tracks like, you make me feel brand new by the stylistics and you are everything also by the stylistics. So for this electric sitar sound, I'm gonna be using Omnisphere. They have a great preset for it. This could almost be a top line, I think, in my opinion. You could hear a vocalist singing that same melody and that sitar kind of accompanying them. All right, now this is maybe gonna be the final melodic element that I play in here. And it's one of my favorite things to add. It's going to be a vocal texture. I think I'm going to use Augmented Voices by Arturia. If you know how to mess with the settings, you can create some really authentic sounding vocal presets. Sounds like some backup singers and they're really feeling these vibes though. Okay, now for a little bit of mixing and mastering magic, 
and um, some simple drums. And then we have this. appreciate you so much from the bottom of my heart for watching big shout out to anyone who made it this far all the way to the end of the video remember you can grab this composition for free down below in addition to the other free kits there are also a lot of dope premium kits on the site as well so if you're interested you can also check those out don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video peace